So this is the best thing that, that we currently have. Okay, it's the best thing that we currently have. However, we want to do better. Uh, because we know for sure that there's stuff out there that is not explained by this. And the reason we know is that although this explains every single experiment we've ever done here on Earth, if we look out into the sky, there's extra stuff which is still a mystery. So uh, if we look out into space, there are, for example, invisible particles out there. In fact, there's many more invisible particles than there are visible particles. Uh, we call them dark matter. Uh, we can't see them, obviously, because they're invisible. Uh, but we can see their effects. We can see their effects on the way galaxies rotate or the way they bend light around galaxies. They're out there. We don't know what they are. Um, there's uh, even more mysterious things. There's something called dark energy, which is spread throughout all of space. It's also some kind of field, although not one we understand, that's causing everything in the universe to repel everything else. Uh, other things. We know that uh, early in the uh, first few seconds, earlier than that, the first few fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a very rapid phase of expansion that we call inflation. We know it happened, but it's not explained by that equation that I, I just showed you. So these are the kind of things that we're going to have to understand if we're going to move forward uh, and decide what the next laws of physics are that go beyond the standard model.